Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Margaret and welcome to Purple Frog. Today I'm going to be redecorating my room. As you guys can tell, it is just, you know, really bland on, I mean, it looks good on one side with the manga, it's just a hot mess on the other, you know, so I'm going to be doing a lot of redecorating, reorganizing and whatnot, so let's just get into it. Okay, so I just got back. It is like 10.30 at night. It's March 3rd. Um, I just got back from Ikea. Got some room decor stuff, so I'll do like a little haul. Starting off, I got this like little rabbit mat thing um, from like their year, the rabbit collection. It was like a couple dollars and my cat loves it. She loves it so much. So uh, that was exciting. Um, let's see, I also got a lot of these bags because these are my favorite storage bags. They're great. Um, this is cat food that I got. This is good. I got uh, another pegboard and then like this like little shelf for storage purposes. I also got this like little under shelf lighting because I picked up some shelves. But uh, yeah, this is like under shelf lighting for one of them. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, here's the pegboard that I got. Um, I picked up just one of these storage boxes. It's pretty deep because, I mean, you can never have too much storage. Um, and then I also got one of these cups for a pegboard. Um, some clips for my pegboards here. And then just like a much smaller storage bin because, you know, I'm addicted to these. These are amazing. Here's what they are. Highly recommend. These things are amazing. I also got the Alex like little shelving unit for under my desk. Okay, now that this is basically fully assembled, I am gonna move it under my desk and then I can start loading that stuff, that stuff right there on top of my desk into here at long last. It fits in like perfectly. Okay, now I have to fill up all the drawers. that I got from the previous clips early on in the video where I got these from Ikea. Um, I was sampling some things to put up and I thought the magazines up there looked pretty good so I have another one I'm gonna put up there 
And then I just have some random stuff I'm gonna try and put on this second shelf here. I'm hoping it's gonna look good. Okay, I think it came out pretty well. Uh, I really like the magazines up there and I have plenty of room to add some more stuff and I like the second shelf too. I think it came out pretty well. Okay guys, it is currently March 17th. Got a bookcase here, got the scissors. Time to assemble this, yay! Okay, after a lot, a lot of effort, it's finally assembled. I said to flip it over now. Let me just tell you, it looks like a butcher shop. I've been to a butcher shop because I mean like literally my hand is, my both of my hands are just destroyed. Oy vey. Oy vey una. Oy vey. Okay, so this bookcase is gonna go right here in this corner, so I need to clear out this corner. I'm basically gonna put this over just in the middle of my room just for now. And then I, what I really need to do is I need to move all of this stuff off of these shelves. So I'm probably going to be temporarily setting some of it either on these, on my normal bookcases or over there on my desk or somewhere. So I'm gonna do that really quick. which is actually flipping over the bookcase and actually putting it in this corner. Okay, so after a while, after a couple of days and a lot of filming for a manga reorganization video later, I finished putting up the third shelf in its place and I even put all the manga on it. I do have some merchandise I still need to put away and whatnot. So yeah, still have a lot to do. Okay, and I also managed to fit in this skinnier shelf um, on the side here. So I need to fill it up with some of my merchandise. So I'm gonna start off by putting my Itachi shrine. I think I'm gonna try and fit it onto two shelves or make it so it looks good on two shelves. Normally it'd be on one shelf, but you know, I don't really have much to display here. So I'm gonna try and see if I can stretch my Itachi collection onto two shelves. I did it and I actually really like how it came out. I think it looks great so far and I do have plenty of room to expand my Itachi collection in the future. Okay everyone, next is going to be this Rise Well Tenlagai shelf. I apologize for the poor angle, the lighting is horrible right now, but below this is my bottom shelf of my D12 and as you guys can tell, that is my first Rise of Tenlagai shelf, but I have too much stuff so it's gonna have to stretch onto another shelf and I just went out and bought this organizer three-tiered thing from Target. They're for spices but they work great for displaying merchandise and like nendroids and stuff.
my goodness, I think it's really cute. I have plenty of room to grow, which is nice. So I have plenty of room for like shikishis and stuff around the walls. And I have plenty of space down here on the floor um, or on the bottom of the shelf. And yeah, I'm really excited. I love Raizo Tanagai. And if you guys want like a more in-depth look at this stuff, you guys will get to see it in like an upcoming video. My next manga diary, so I'll do a haul or whatever. Okay, so after months of work, my arm is finally done. This video has taken me so long to film. It's literally been over the course of quite a while. Um, I have it done for the most part. There are a few finishing touches, which I'm going to have to complete. Uh, this is going to be a rough kind of overview of what I have going on. I will be doing a more in-depth room tour within the coming few weeks, within the next couple of weeks. So be on the lookout for that. My cat is being a menace. Okay, so I still have basically a similar setup to what I had before, where I have my like little keychain board, and then I have a like little shelf with some stuff and my bookcase number one my detolf bookcase number two and here's what i put in my third bookcase it looks great i'm absolutely in love with it i did some decorating on the top here and then we also have another small display shelf on the side i do have some merchandise here like some blue lock stuff and whatnot as you guys can see like these like little shaker things um and whatnot because uh that pegboard i got earlier on I need to get some anchors for those, so I'm gonna wait. I have to wait for ordered them. They're gonna come in at some point. Not to wait until I get the anchors in, in order to put the board up. But yeah, that's just gonna be like a little pegboard here with like a blue lock theme. I'm really excited. I think it's gonna look so good. Nothing changed on the grid above my bed. It's still the same. Still is the really beautiful kind of I don't know. Just some of my favorite series and merchandise are displayed up here. Here is an area that had quite a lot of work done, and that is my desk. I am absolutely in love with it, especially I really like the shelves above. I did order some prints from, and some prints and other wall decor from, uh, I think something, it has a peanut. I'll put a picture of uh, the poster that I ordered. It's gonna go right there. It's still taking a while since it's coming from Canada. So it's gonna take a while before it gets to where I am, but it's going to go right there. It's like a little Mob Psycho 100 poster. I am so beyond excited. I also ordered some postcards from the same seller. Pretty sure it's like, this is Peanut or something with the name Peanut in it, but like the great Peanut, I think that's it. But there, I ordered some Mob Psycho 100 poster, postcards, excuse me, that are gonna go right there. They're gonna look so cute. And besides that, I just did a lot of just basic organizing and whatnot of my desk. Like I added in a new pencil cup and I'm really happy with how it looks. I really like how I have my own cup dedicated to solely pencils now. It'll be a lot easier for me when I'm drawing and I can never find a pencil, now I'll be able to find a pencil. I also am really liking all the storage that I got with putting in this drawer set. It just is making my life just so much easier. My cat even has her own dedicated drawer full of her goodies and toys. How spoiled. And the last thing that's kind of a work in progress, and I'm just gonna have to wait until I get it in, and that is, this is kind of a box that we have on top of my cat's litter box. Um, it's like one of those automatic ones. And so above that here, I'm going to be mounting a cat tree. I still have to order it on Amazon because I'm trying to find the perfect one. But yeah, I'm just gonna mount it on top of there. And it's gonna be like, I don't know, I want it to be like three levels tall. So I'm kind of currently in the hunch trying to find the perfect cat tree. But yeah, thank you everyone so much for watching today's video. I had so much fun and I'm just so happy with how everything came out. My room is just a lot nicer to be in, for me at least, um, now that I have not only this wall figured out, but also like my desk and stuff is more taken care of since I do do a lot of art and whatnot. And yeah, I really appreciate all of you guys watching this video. It really means a lot to me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to comment, rate, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.